Well, hello again from Kingston. It's been another busy week. We've seen topsoil laid on the West End. Waterproofing preparations begin for asphalt paving on the eastern spans and the removal of the last pile from the temporary trestle roadway. So be sure and watch the whole update. Don't miss the wildlife at the end. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Monday this week proved to be a day of changeable weather, but notably wet. It saw all the trailers, previously stationed on the steel span, moved to Gore Road. This is likely to be their final move. Although one was seen to leave permanently. Throughout the day, a hard-working duo from Senior Beck sighted and installed new traffic signs. Down beside the final trestle span, an excavator from Bar Construction was removing gravel, which was taken to the east laydown area. Later in the day, staff from Bar would remove the fence that had separated the west approach from the Skyline Apartments. Not very far away, the Tadano Crane would begin the teardown of the last remaining LTR 1100 crawler crane. The arrival of several large transports on Tuesday morning signalled that the crane would depart that day. At the other end of the bridge, around the trestle, crane mats were being steadily lifted from the water. A little bit of rain was no real challenge when it came to removing the final girders. Then it was the turn of the crosspiece and bonnets. At the back of the east holding area, below the library, Barr were evening out the slope to create a pathway. Out on the gravel causeway, despite persistent rain, a capable crew using bucket lifts and a rental crane removed the catwalk from Pier 15. Black and MacDonald installed new lamp posts on the eastern half of the bridge. And sharp landscaping began the introduction of topsoil to the West End. Work that would be continued throughout the next day. Right alongside the new topsoil, the trusty team from Black and MacDonald began installing new lamp posts on the west approach. Back on the east side in the area formerly known as the Trestle Roadway, there were serious discussions about removing the final piles. It was soon time to run up the compressor for the vibrating hammer Surely locate and lock it in place and then game on. The power of that massive hammer can be clearly seen in the surrounding water. Up the hill on Gore Road there was some momentary excitement when a large truckload of concrete products arrived but it turned out to be delivering just one small catch basin. 
for bar construction. The basin doubtless belongs in the new holding pond, where things are really beginning to shape up. Early on Thursday morning, the LR1200 crane pulled the last pile it will remove. Pleasingly, unlike some very obstinate ones, this final pile was withdrawn in just six minutes. On the bridge itself, the presence of a road sweeper on the eastern spans suggested that waterproofing is imminent. Over on the west end, Sharp Landscaping continued their topsoil work and team members from Black and MacDonald were busy conducting installation work and laying cabling. Friday, the last day of September, had a foggy start but a sunny finish. The presence of the crew from Hanco who conduct sandblasting to clean the concrete surfaces before waterproofing, confirmed that waterproofing will take place soon. Work to shape the holding pond on the east end continued, and the delivery of a large quantity of topsoil below the library suggested planting will begin soon. Friday saw work begin on removing the temporary safety structures that have been around piers 18 and 19, inevitably leaving marks and blemishes, all of which have to be made good. Work was ongoing too, using the bridge buggies to remove brackets from span 18. Material taken off the bridge is lifted onto the main span by the little Brodison crane. Seen on Friday, but working for most of the week, two excavators have been busily removing the gravel from the end of the causeway towards the west. Barr's busy and versatile team spent much of Friday working on a pathway that will connect Kenwood Circle to the bridge. As we head to wildlife, if you're wondering how dry it was by the end of last week, here's Sharp cleaning up the tarmac on the west end. There you go, 
I hope you'll agree that was a pretty busy and successful week. Bit of a wet start, but sunshine for the last two days. Subscribe to keep up with all the updates and make sure you miss nothing. And otherwise, stay safe, be well, bye for now.